Liana Budding is right here. Good to see you. And the hair is back to blonde. It's, it's back to blonde. Back no, to blonde. I just feel like I'm more at home in the blonde. So yeah, it's back. It's gone. So you've been. She's a very interesting character. This woman, isn't mm. it? Because we don't know she's pregnant, but we don't know who the daddy is. Mm -hmm. We don't know any of that. So we've got all of her dilemma going on, as well, of course, as as the case. And it's got it's got everybody talking. Everybody's trying to work out who who done it. I know it's great. I know, yeah. and I'm I'm following all the sort of guessing that's going on on Twitter, and it's it's good. On the one hand, there's the, uh, there's a little bit of pressure because you want to make sure that you're delivering a character that you know an audience can engage with mm -hmm. and and sort of feel for um but it's so much fun it's so much fun i love mm -hmm. my job i feel so lucky to do it. i keep saying it all the time but it's true and it just meant i got to be on set all the time pretty much and to really sort of be at the heart of the story constantly mm -hmm. and and th we had so many great actors you know there's a huge array of characters in in these stories um over the four episodes and such a brilliant cast um joined us every day on on set so Sorry. it was a real treat well it makes it makes life easy doesn't it when you've got some really great people to bounce off absolutely and some good writing that's absolutely. you you're away exactly. you're away you're away, you're away. Exactly. now you're a mum just uh, what what age is baby eight weeks eight weeks only you've had a baby eight weeks ago Look eight weeks you. ago Goodness me. yeah it was. So <laughs> when you were filming you weren't pregnant then although your character is yes so, so i had a baby bump so i got to sort of practice um the, what it felt like or sure. what it looked like not what it felt like <laughs> to be pregnant what it looked like to be pregnant yeah, yeah. and then obviously i liked it so much so i decided to do it myself and why not yeah that's great that's i really found good. it's nothing like pretending to be pregnant <laughs> probably, <at all. laughs> probably not probably not downton just uh, it's you know it's such a huge thing for anyone that gets to be involved with that show and it's such a lovely show to be involved in and it's um so th obviously that had an effect too of course of course it would do and of course, I, I, that exactly twilight that was massive mm. that was massive i mean going to all of those crazy premieres all over the world that must have been quite overwhelming actually there was one point i remember there was one premiere here in london um, and we were standing on a balcony we'd just come in and we would said hello to everyone and then we stepped out and we just heard this surge of noise that hit us literally like a physical wall of, of all the fans that were outside it was amazing wow. and I think it's extraordinary when you're a part of something that has that much love yeah. um, you know and I was a fan in fact you know I was a, a fan of the books mm. um, so it was amazing to be a part of the films but I was also a fan of Downton Abbey um, you know I've been a fan of Victorian um, crime drama um so i got to be a part of ripper street yeah. and detective stories i'm um, again I, you know i'm i'm a sucker for all of that it's brilliant when that's more, done that is story it, is done and been gone. put to oh. bed so now yeah the the series now that's on bbc2 that's that's i know because I'd, I'd heard that that was but i wasn't sure whether or not again maybe fan power might come to the rescue but do you feel as if it's i think it's it's complete it's Done. Yes, I think so. And when we came to this, you know, these final series, um, the writers very much were coming at it with the idea sure. that this was it and this was mm. they were going to round off the story. But sometimes that's quite good. I think it's great. You know, that it has a beginning, a middle and an end. Absolutely. I think and you I think end on great. a high. And it's a high we never expected to get. So it's, it's great. And for me, obviously, the story continues because, you know, all of a sudden in the dark is out as well. Exactly. And I filmed these about a year ago. So it's just it's just it's worked out really well because you filmed that and yes. then you've had your, your wee baby yes and now i guess maybe quite soon ready to go back to work perhaps in, in a few months yes. yeah you have time with the baby it's so much it's great if you never get that back no that, and they smell so good don't mm. they what is it they put in babies I to make them know, smell because so all he does is bathe in his own milk <laughs> i mean it's still it's grow like, up you know yeah and, divine. and then you want to squeeze them <laughs> really mm, gorgeous so good to talk to you so good to talk to you um tuesday nine o'clock bbc one tuesday nine o'clock excellent we'll be there thank you thank Nana. you so great much great to see you